Hello, my name is Brenda Mendoza and I'm a K-12 ELL specialist. I'm also Illinois AACD's whole child leader. And in addition to that, I am um, an instructional coach with Challenging Learning. I wanted to talk about an experience I had today. Uh, I went to the book fair, which is a very exciting time of the year. And as I was at the book fair, I started reflecting on my 12 years of teaching. And when I first started teaching, I taught kindergarten, first grade, um, bilingual. And I taught students um, in English and Spanish and I taught them um, literacy and how to read in English and Spanish. And it was really exciting um, to be in that position, but it was also very difficult because there was not a lot of resources. If I went to a book fair um, 12 years ago, there wasn't a lot of representation for my students, and it was really hard to find authentic translated books in Spanish. So um, it was frustrating nonetheless for a um, bilingual educator um, 12 years ago. But um, now I went to the book fair and I was so inspired because there are so many diverse books that um, my students can see themselves, they feel reflected in the characters and um, I was super um, excited for them. Uh, they, they were um, talking about books and looking at the characters and I know they were thinking, hey, that's me. Um, even if I think back in my bilingual education, um, there wasn't anything as bilingual education, but um, I was kind of just immersed in English, and uh, there weren't books that I could read that really inspired me or that reflected me. So it started um, getting me to reflect and think about um, Dr. Sims Bishop and her research on diverse books. She talks about mirrors, windows, and sliding glass doors. Um, for her, she feels that diversity is very important and it needs to be represented in books. Um, diverse readers and diverse characters, diverse authors are very important and we need to support them. I really appreciate um, what she talks about that our students really need to see themselves in mirrors. They need to be reflected in the books they read. Um, they need to know that their stories matter and their voices matter. And so when they see characters that are like them, it is a mirror, it's a reflection of them, and that empowers our students. And so we really need to buy these books. As educators, we need to support these diverse books um, because they, they go out of print if we don't. So that's absolutely important. Kids need to see themselves in their books. They need, books need to be mirrors. The other thing she talked about was windows. Um, books, diverse books can be windows where um, students see themselves in other characters, but not only them, but they also, um, other students can see the experiences of diverse characters. But in addition to that, she talks about sliding glass doors where if we have all these diverse books, we will be able to then share our experiences with others and welcome them into our world. And I think that's super amazing. So it's really important that we support, support diverse books and support diverse authors. It's really important. Um, so essentially, you know, mirrors are reflections. And so we really need to have um, diverse books in our libraries. That's super important. Um, something else I wanted to talk about, if you're interested in more information about diverse books and diverse readers, please go to my Instagram account and my Facebook account, Maestra Mendoza. I post diverse books all the time with a little caption, a little brief um, summary of the book. And um, I also um, post infographs about diverse books. If you look back into 2015, only about 0.9% of books were representing Native American children. And now in 2018, 1% of books are representing Native Americans, which is an improvement, but it's not that much of an improvement if we look at it. Another thing is now we have, in 2018, we had 5% of books representing Latinx characters. Now the reason we use the word Latinx, for example, is um, because um, Latino, Latina, um, is from Latino America. Hispanic is from Española, which is Spain. Um, if you know any of the history, um, Spain came and invaded Mexico and therefore um, stole um, Mexicans' identity, their language, um, and their culture, essentially, and forced their culture and their language and their 
beliefs and identities onto us. So sometimes it's a struggle to, to represent ourselves as Hispanic. And so we created a word like Latinx to really just kind of represent us. Um, I still use Latina because that's my pronoun and that's what I feel comfortable using. But um, Latinx is something that is being used more now because um, we feel more empowered using that word. But either way, only 5% of books um, show characters that are Latinx. Only 7% of books in 2018 were representing Asian Pacific Islanders and Asian Americans. In addition, only 10% were representing African Americans or Black Americans, like they like to be called. Um, so it's important that we also use the right terminology um, to talk about diverse books. In addition to that, um, it's very interesting that 27% of books that are on shelves are either animals or other, which monsters or things like that, silly characters. Um, so that's interesting that there's more animal books than there are Latinx books. In addition to that, in 2015, 72% of the books had white characters, and now in 2018, 50%. Um, of the characters are still um, white. So we have a long way to go. But how can we as educators support that? Buy diverse books, support diverse authors um, and publishers. If you're listening to this, you need to also support um, diverse um, authors, you know, who, who want to get published because um, publicists are very difficult to come by. So um, if we want to um, help and support in every arena, then publicists need to help too. Um, so anyways, today I just kind of wanted to share one of my favorite books that helps inspire my students. And it talks about where are you from? Because it's a question sometimes that our kids get. I know it's a question I always get, where are you from? Where are you from? Well, I'm from here. And so I'm gonna read a little bit about it just so you can see um, the impact that this type of book could have on your students. So it's, where are you from? Where are you from, they ask. Is your mom from here? Is your dad from here, they ask. Oh, I, I am from here. I'm from today. Same as everyone, I say. No, really, 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 where are you from, they insist. I asked Abuelo because he knows everything. And like me, he looks like maybe he doesn't belong. Where am I from? De donde soy? Abuelo thinks, his eyes squint, like he's looking inside his heart for an answer. Mija, you come from the Pampas, the open free land, he says. You're from the Gaucho brave and strong from the brown river that cleanses and feeds the land that gives us the grain for our bread the milk for the cows from the cows you're from the mountains so high that they tickle senor cielo's belly where the condor roosts his family and the jaguar prowls the night but also you're also from the warm blue oceans of the copper warriors those that they tried to tame. And the elegant palm trees stretch their fingers to caress. You're from hurricanes and dark storms and tiny singing frogs that calls from the island people home when the sun goes to sleep. From this land where our ancestors built all home for all, even when they were in chains because of the color of their skin. You're from the grandmothers who search for their grandchildren, waiting, always waiting in La Plaza with their white handkerchiefs wrapping the sorrow of their thoughts. You come from the sunshine that lights our path in this world and the rain that washes away our mistakes. But abuelo, abuelo, I ask, where am I really from? Abuelo laughs. You, you, want, you want to know a place? He points right here. He points to his heart. You're from here, from my love and the love of all those before us. From those who dreamed of you because of a song sung under the Southern Cross or the words in a book written under the night of the North Star. You, you, you 
are from all of us. I am. You are. See how powerful books can be? This book gave me goosebumps. Chills. Literally. This is how much I felt heard and understood in this picture book. Where are you from? <laughs>